I've never seen quite such a spectacular backdrop to a pit lane before. We're here in Moscow ahead of the penultimate weekend of the FIA Formula E Championship and let's have a little bit of a walk down the pit lane. You can see it's pretty sloped actually on the walk down and that's going to be very interesting with the, with the teams when they set up their cars trying to get the weight distribution right on a slope is going to be a, a bit of a challenge but we're just going to have a cruise down here and see who we can find. You can see all the DHL boxes are out because the cars were delivered a couple of days ago but the teams have only had access to them today and so we have Trulli and Venturi up at the top end of the pit lane. Uh, Trulli were delighted to get pole position last time out in Berlin. Uh, they didn't have the race pace they think there's something strange going on with Jano's car because the energy just drains out of the car almost instantly once the race gets underway but they showed that their qualifying pace is, uh, is pretty good. Then we've got the Mahindra squad here on the left hand side. Let's go in and see if we can speak to Dilbag Gill actually. Past all the funky music. Let's have a little word with uh, the boss of the Mahindra team. Dilbag, how's it, how's it going? Honestly, I'm doing some serious work right now. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Things are going good. It's such an awesome place, man. I think it's quite a privilege to be here and race here. Looking forward to a good event. And what can Mahindra do? Because you tough time in Berlin. Oh yeah, we've had a tough times. I think that's now behind us. Uh, we put in a lot of effort in terms of trying to understand how we can improve and we found some areas where we believe we will be quite competitive this weekend. I'll let you get back to your important work. It's Facebook. It's, it's Facebook. He's on Facebook. <laughs> Cheers, Dilbag. So, past the, uh, past the music again. And uh, so, yeah, the Mahindra team had a very difficult time in Berlin. Um, qualified 18th and 20th on the grid, which was a, a real shame because they're such a strong outfit that they, you know, deserve to be higher up the grid for Karun Chanduk and Bruno Senna. Here's the Amnina Guri team, who again are struggling to get their car working and qualifying. In the race trim, Antonio Felix da Costa is able to blitz past everyone in race mode, but he really struggles to get the car going in the qualifying conditions. And we've got the Andretti boys. Now, Justin Wilson is a new driver this weekend for the Andretti team. He's not around at the moment. He's already left, so we're not going to have the chance to get a word with him, unfortunately. There we go, a little bit of a dance as we go either way. Then we've got the Virgin squad here, Sam Bird. Still a, a, an outside shot for the championship, but, you know, he's very much a dark horse now, I think, as we approach the latter stages of the season. Nelson Piquet, though, in the Team China squad, is uh, certainly not a dark horse by any stretch of the imagination. Now that he's up at the top of the championship, let's just see if we've got anyone from the APT team around that we can speak to. Uh, no, no one's there at the moment, unless that's Hans Jürgen lurking in the background. No, it's not. And so this now is the Dragon team, and they had a very strong weekend uh, last time out. And it was the first time they really put two strong performances together. Let's see if Loic will have a quick... Loic, can we have a quick word? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He's coming in a moment. Uh, they had a really strong performance last time with uh, Jerome D'Ambrosio taking victory in the end after Lucas Degrassi's disqualification. And that means that D'Ambrosio is very much in the championship fight. I mean, again, he is a bit of a dark horse, but he has the chance to, uh, to get there. But here comes Loic now after doing really that sorry. important business it's fine it's fine it's fine uh you're getting on top of this car now aren't you yeah i mean uh it was difficult to join uh, in the middle of the series for sure the championship but uh at the end everything is uh it's going uh, according to the plan we are getting better and better i still have to improve during uh during qualifying <laughs> but uh but let's say that during the races we we are there so it's quite positive positive. and are you looking for a race win to end the season or is all the focus now on jerome to try and help him in the title no, I mean, you never know what can happen, so for sure we'll try to do our best as a team and then we'll see how it ends up on, uh, on every race weekend, but uh, the aim is to always to, to win a race. Then we'll see for sure if we, if we are first and second and maybe we can speak about it, but that's not the case for the moment. Cool. Best of luck for the weekend, yeah. Luke. Cheers. Thank you for that. So, Luke Duval looking like he's uh, feeling confident ahead of this weekend. And then finally we have the Edam's pit right at the bottom of the pit lane and uh, they're going to be the first people out onto the racetrack and as you can oh it's a nice backfiry porsche there wasn't it uh but yes uh, so this is the exit of the pit lane where they then rejoin the embankment straight that takes them out uh, over the start line and down towards turn one so that's a little wander down the pit lane and uh, hopefully it's going to be a great weekend of racing here in formula e in moscow